हेलो गाइस दिस दिव्या एंड आई एम ब्रिंगिंग यू एन अदर एपिसोड ऑफ प्लम्स प्लम्स लेवल अप एम सी क्यू सीरीज एंड डेली वी आर कमिंग अप विद फाइव एम सी क्यूज टूडे इज एपिसोड थर्टी सेवन एंड जैन टेन राइट एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज इन्वायरमेंट आई एम यू नो दिव्या आई एम ब्रिंगिंग इन्वायरमेंट टूडे एंड वट इज यू नो एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम यू इज टू सब्सक्राइब वाई शेयर चैनल प्रेस द बेल नोटिफिकेशन एंड एंगेज विद अस डेली वी आर कमिंग अप विद सो मैनी यू नो कॉन्टेंट एंड स्पेशली एवरी एवरी डे वी आर कमिंग अप विद फाइव एम सी क्यूज सो दैट यू कैन मेंटेन योर कंसिस्टेंसी विच इज़ वेरी क्रिशियल फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन राइट नाउ लेट अस बिगिन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो द कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स हेयर देर आर लिस्ट ऑफ यू नो टाइगर रिजर्व गिवन एंड देन द स्टेट्स सो यू हैव टू टेल विच ऑफ द यू नो फॉलोइंग पेयर्स आर करेक्टली मैच्ड सो फर्स्ट वन इज उदांति उदांति सीता नदी टाइगर रिजर्व इन छत्तीसगढ़ आई मीन ऑप्शन इज छत्तीसगढ़ भद्रा टाइगर रिजर्व इन आंध्र प्रदेश पेंच टाइगर रिजर्व मध्य प्रदेश डम्पा टाइगर डम्पा टाइगर रिजर्व अरुणाचल प्रदेश सो योर ऑप्शन आर वन एंड टू ओनली आर करेक्ट देन वन एंड थ्री ओनली आर करेक्ट टू थ्री फोर आर करेक्ट करेक्ट और टू एंड फोर आर करेक्ट राइट सो Pause the video. Answer the question. It's so simple, right? So answer is B, as you can see here, one and three only. So the uh, Sita Nadi Udanti Udanti uh, Tiger Reserve, right? It is a small but a very important tri- tiger reserve in the in the uh, you know uh, state of Chhattisgarh, uh, Gariaband district. So you have to remember this. Now Bhadra Bhadra, you you may feel that okay, it, it can be uh, any any place in south, but it is in. Uh, right it is in karnataka uh, in the shivamogga and chikmagaluru districts right and it is it spans over uh, around you know 500 square kilometers and there are two districts i mean it is spread over two districts of shivamogga and um, chikmagaluru of karnataka then there is pench tiger reserve i think all of you know it right uh, it is very famous that it is located in madhya pradesh and uh, the ta- the whole tra- you know tiger reserve is actually spread across you know madhya pradesh and maharashtra but most of you know only as maharashtra i feel so right then uh, it is actually most uh, mostly to the uh, you know mostly the reference is given to the madhya pradesh that's why we mostly know pench is located in only in madhya pradesh but it is also uh, you know spread in maharashtra then there is dam dampa tiger reserve it is uh, it is you know located in mizoram not arunachal pradesh as given in the question let's move on second question so which of the following organisms commonly hibernate so you first of all you should be knowing what is hibernation what is estivation do comment you know what is uh, what is the difference between estivation and hibernation right so which of the following uh, organisms given hibernate you know commonly hibernate snakes bear hedgehog frogs options are 1 and 3 only 1 3 4 only 1 and 2 only 1 3 1 2 3 4 all of the above right please pause and answer so actually the answer is c all of them you know hibernate as you can see here so at least remember the main main ones here uh, ones right you know hi- hibernating especially bear is very famous for hi- hibernation as well as estivation right so hedgehog groundhog chipmunk mouse these are not very you know difficult to remember okay you must be knowing all this then porcupine badger bat even even bat hibernates right so very important that's why i included the picture so that you can uh, remember it for longer time now third question which of the following institutions has been i'm sorry which of the following institutions has been designated as a national implementing entity for implementation of adaptation pro- projects under national adaptation fund climate fund for climate change nfccc so please pause i uh, mean please look into the answer answer um, your options are national biodiversity authority nabard then national green tribunal or cpcb that is central pollution control board right so very important question it is right right guys let's answer this question its answer is actually b so that is nabard so nabard was designated as the national implementing agency for the nafccc right and it was uh, actually adopted under the uh, kyoto protocol of un framework convention on climate change and uh, that's why it was established and then and then nafccc is uh, is actually uh, you know why it is adopted was it is adopted in sta- active you know states and union territories that are vulnerable to the adverse impact of the 
climate change this this line is very important why it was adopted and under kyoto protocol it was it was done right there is fund established in order to tackle you know um, tackle with the uh, uh, climate change situations in the two territories and states so nafcc was implemented in project more till uh, till today and you know 30 projects are sanctioned in 27 states and UTs. It is taken from the PIB. You can further read about it here, right? Take a screenshot and please read. Please go through, right? Let's begin. Question number 4, MCQ number 4. So, Somo Riri, Renuka, Sambar and Bhoj. These are included in which of the following lists? The list given, your options given are, given are Tiger Reserve, Elephant Reserve, National Park or Ramsar site. Right, so all these four comes under which of the following, you know, category. Pause the video, answer the question fast. Okay, so the answer is D, right? So with the with the word so so more read so, you should have you know guess some some of you I think should be able to guess because we have been talking about Pangong so so much. So so means lake, right? So so more read or lake so more read or also called as mountain lake is actually a lake in the Changtang plateau of Ladakh and it is actually protected as the wetland conservation reserve so that is why and now it is uh, it is also included as the in the Ramsar um, site list then we have Bhojtal right it is commonly known as upper lake is li it lies in the capital city of Madhya Pradesh Bhopal that is uh, right Madhya Pradesh capital city of Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh the Bada, Bada Talab and the Chota Talab, they all uh, constitute this Bhoj land, Bhoj wetland and it has been included as the Ramsar site. Then there is Sambar Lake, Sambar Lake is in Jaipur, okay, not Tamil Nadu. <laughs> Some of you we must be guessing. So it is, no, it is not in Tamil Nadu, it is in Jaipur and western side of Jaipur it is and it has also been designated as the Ramsar site. Then you have Renuka Lake uh, in the Sirma district of Himachal Pradesh, okay. And... Uh, it was included in the uh, Ramsar side since November 2005 and it is the largest lake in Himachal Pradesh. So these are the bits you can you know remember easily remember. Now let's move on question number 5. The question is mulching is referred to as what right very simple question. So your options are it is a mulching is a measure to uh, conserve the soil uh, fertility and sir has also taken a lecture on this right I remember. Uh, so uh, it is you know a measure to conserve soil fertility then uh, pollution control measure and then measure to con combat loss of biodiversity and then a uh, method employed in the tiger census please uh, answer this question so actually answer a it is it is a you know measure to conserve the fertility of the soil it is referred as the you know uh, there is you know in order to uh, prevent the you know moisture loss right in order to uh, minimize the moisture rise from the uh, soil surface what hap what we do is you know we spread it you know a covering material we spread some material as you can see here like how it is done like some material we spread over the surface there so that you know it it you know um, uh, reduces the uh, moisture loss from the soil and also weed population is controlled through this and crop yield uh, crop yield is also improved right so there are so many benefits of mulching that's why it's done so with this we have come and end to this episode hope you enjoyed it tomorrow there will be another lecture by other faculty and what you what is expected from you as i told it is the consistency engagement participation and that too consistently right please do that thank you so much we'll meet in the next one